Hi, my name is Justin from justicegood.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you a few subtle finishing touches you can add on any photo to make your photos look a little more professional. Alright, so here we are in Photoshop and we have our photo open. The first thing I like to do is right click on the photos layer and convert it to a smart object because we're going to be adding a filter onto it and we want to be able to adjust that filter. So now we're going to go to filter, noise, add noise. This is just an optional step, but I like to add, I like the noise filter because you can add a little bit of a grainy quality and some texture to your photo. But just use a small amount, like 5% at uniform, monochromatic, and that'll be fine. So if you select OK. So since it's a smart object, Photoshop will list all the filters you have on it and you can actually go back and adjust the opacity or the visibility of them. So if we click on this white little smart filters box, it's actually the layer mask for all of our filters. So we're going to tell Photoshop we only want that noise filter to kind of creep up along the edges and not be distracting in the middle. So we'll grab our gradient tool we'll set it to a black to white gradient which should be in your default gradients if you just hit reset gradients it'll be right there and we'll set it to this radial mode right here and if I just click near the middle and hold shift to get it to be a straight line and pull it out to the edge you can see we created a black to white gradient that starts black in the middle and fades to white around the edges so now the noise is only apparent on the white edges because we told Photoshop to do it like that. So that's just an optional step to add a little texture but now we're gonna add a few adjustment layers that'll give it those finishing touches to make it look more professional. So once you've done that go to layer, new adjustment layer and the first thing I like to do on a darker city photo like this is go to levels. All right. And all you're going to do is take this bottom output slider and drag it up a little bit. Maybe just to about 10 to 20, depending on how dark or how many shadows are in your photo. All this does is tells Photoshop, instead of being able to use the full black to white spectrum, it can only use this really dark gray to white. So all these shadows kind of brighten up and become a more dark gray which is good because now when we go to add another new adjustment layer layer new adjustment layer curves um, the color the or jet black isn't really receptive to taking any adjustments it doesn't really change color but a really dark gray takes adjustment layers very well and you can influence the mood of your photo more easily so once we have the curves tool open it's this is one of the most powerful color adjustment tools in Photoshop. I have a more in-depth tutorial on it, but really practice makes perfect. So each point on the curves panel is kind of like an input and output. So you can tell Photoshop for every white point in my photo, you're actually going to be black. So as you can see, that's all it does. So you can also change it to red, green, and blue color channels. So what you want to do is head over to something like the blue color channel and you can tell Photoshop take every darkest blue in the photo and just drag it up a little bit, make it a little bit lighter. So that gives that kind of blue mood and vibe to the photo. Again, you don't want to go too much or too crazy. You just want to be really subtle. It just wants You just want your photo to look more professional. So here I'm going to go ahead and make some adjustments. So once you have that done, I'll show you. It's really subtle, but all I did was just add a little bit of that more like sunset vibe to it. And then finally, 
we'll head on over to another final adjustment layer, layer, new adjustment layer, brightness contrast. And I'm just going to turn the contrast up a tiny bit. And the only reason I'm doing that is just to make up for some of that, those shadows that we pulled out earlier. We pulled out the shadows, we influenced the color, and now let's put in a little bit more of that contrast back in the photo. So you don't have to do too much, just, just around 10 or 20, depending on your photo of contrast. And that's your final result. So it's really not too much different than the original, but it just gives it a little bit more flavor, a little bit more of, of, of a professional look. And you can take your photos and make them a little bit more your own. So thanks for watching. Again, the, the Photoshop document file for this video will be on my new website www.justthisgood.com available for download for free for you to look through all these layers and learn from if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment or send me an email and check me out on facebook twitter and instagram thanks for watching and i'll see you next time